Hello, my name is Ron Fizard, and this is part of our Tech Tip video series. This video is part one of a series about cutting low E valve packing correctly. In this video, we're going to show how to cut packing rings to make the best success in sealing low emission levels. Before we discuss how to cut, the first and most important step is to not cut if possible. Cutting packing rings, as you will see, can be a real pain and it wastes a lot of material and also takes a lot of experience to do it well. Uh, getting rings already cut by packing manufacturers to specific sizes is the best way to avoid any errors in cutting. However, if you're going to cut your own packing or if you have to or forced to, these are some good steps to make sure you have an accurate ring. Uh, so what you'll need is a mandrel. It, it needs to be the same size as the stem that you carefully already measured. Mandrels can be made out of many things. Metal, uh, wood, lots of different types of metal. I've even seen them made out of aluminum. The important thing is the tolerance that it is made to. It should be very close to the size of the stem. Second thing you're going to need is a sharp knife that has been sharpened uh, as often as possible. Having a knife sharpener is crucial to this because high temperature low E valve packing has a small amount of wire in it and it just wears the knife really, really fast. Next is a vise. We're going to need a vise to hold the mandrel as we cut the rings. Safety first. Uh, we're going to make sure we wear gloves during this part of the process. Next, how we wrap the packing around the mandrel. It's very important and we want to keep that natural curl as you see on this packing and keep that curl as we wrap it around the mandrel two full turns. Now we're going to hold the rings tightly and cut a straight line across both wraps of the rings. Now take the packing and lay it down on a clean surface and we're going to cut a 45 degree angle right in the center of both of those straight cuts that we just made. This should be a forceful cut using the entire knife blade, not just one piece. I like to think about how they cut on cooking shows, you know, where they cut moving the blade really fast and they use the entire knife. Um, the cut should be clean, there should be no fraying of the ends. Now take the ring that you've already cut and you're going to check it back onto the mandrel in a go-no-go -no -go gauged manner. It should fit very snugly on the mandrel. There should be no gaps between the ring and the mandrel. If there is, you've got to repeat the entire process again because you cannot use that ring. That's it for this video. Please feel free to subscribe to this series and thank you very much.